Hi, James Clemens from Project Plan Online. This is the second video in this Project Management 101 series. In the last video, we discussed the project management life cycle, and in this video, we'll look at how this relates to the project management phases. We saw in a typical project management life cycle, there were five steps. Now, you could call these phases, and from a purely academic perspective, they are. But no one really walks around talking about the initiating or controlling phases. We need a much more practical definition one that reflects the actual project we are working on and that people can relate to. If we were to look at the project management life cycle as phases, it would be more like this. You would control from start to finish, there would be overlaps in phases, and there would potentially be gaps between phases. So let's look at a practical example of phases. To me, the project management phases are the practical reflection of the project management life cycle and they also form a basis for the way we will execute, control and monitor the project. A general description of project management phases are the various stages the projects go through from start to finish, broadly following the project management life cycle, but they are specific to the project and are generally discipline based. So let's look at this example overlaid on the project management life cycle to show the relationship. We'll take a typical EPC or design and build project where you bid the work, design and construct the project. So initially you would have the bid phase where you bid the work and win the project. And you're probably then going to have a gap between bidding the work and winning the work and mobilizing the project. And as we move down through the project, you'll see that I've shown overlaps between mobilization, design and procurement, because in reality, that's how it's going to happen. You're certainly going to have some end to end phases, maybe from procurement to construction into test and acceptance. But the likelihood is that these are all going to overlap as well. The point is that during each phase you need to identify what the hold points are before you progress to the next phase. That's the most important thing. You can have overlaps, you can have gaps, that doesn't matter. But before certain actions occur in the following phase, you must make sure your precursors are fully satisfied. If you want to see more blog posts and other articles similar to these, go to www.projectplanonline.com.